She's an artist and writer who collaborated with the scientists at the furthest reaches of the planet, spending several months camping and painting in Antarctica, scuba diving beneath the world's largest expanse of sea ice. With us in studio now is Lily Simonson, who's local here to the Bay Area. And I, I love what I've seen so far. I went to your website. I saw even more cool stuff. How did you get connected to science? It's not, it's not a typical connection. Yeah, you know, that's sort of a recent concept that art and science are so disparate, but um, they're actually very related. And I think um, the main thing is writers and artists and scientists are all sort of asking big questions like, what is the meaning of life? And looking at specific phenomena to try to answer that question. So it's a natural affinity. And I became really interested in um, painting the deep sea and the Antarctic um, as sort of this parallel world to the human world. And in order to see those places, because I like to work from life, I started collaborating with scientists who were going on expeditions to those places that are so hard to access. So Lily, uh, so you had to get into science. I yeah. saw you with your scuba gear, right? <laughs> so you kind of had to get, I don't know, you probably had to work out and get into that kind of shape, right? Yeah. So now you're doing science, fitness, and art. Yes. That's pretty cool. That's three things that you can blend to have your life now. This is awesome. Yeah, I actually learned to scuba dive so that I could dive under the sea ice in Antarctica because it just seemed like such an extraordinary environment. I had to see it for myself. So yeah, it took a lot of preparation. I had done maybe a hundred dives in about a year and a half by the time I got there. So art has been your life yes. and you know a lot of artists yes. and maybe a lot of artists, maybe they're not into science. Do you think that you could help bridge that gap? Yeah, I think that we're in an interesting moment in our society where um, science has become almost um, politicized and scientists are realizing that they really want to share their discoveries with a broader public and find new ways to reach that public. And I think that art and humanities oriented um, people can sort of find a way in through my paintings and now maybe my writing too. Speaking of your paintings, we're going to talk about your book because you're a first time author. Congratulations. Thank you. But, uh, I, those paintings are right behind me there. They're awesome, especially Thank you. that one. I love the colors there. Thank now, you. Now, someone told me that that one glows in the dark, huh? Yeah, I use fluorescent pigments um, on top of the regular paint. Um, so there's this whole sort of secret painting that glows under UV light. Um, and the one on the left is of the sea ice in Antarctica. And it has these amazing colors in it. So the ice looks white on top, but underneath it's got diatoms, little tiny creatures that, that live inside it and turn it into these crazy colors, neon green and gold and turquoise. What is the one on the right of our screen here? The one on the right is a painting of microorganisms that live on land. So we used to think nothing could survive on land in Antarctica, but they're actually teeny tiny little worms and tardigrades, nematodes, um, that can live in the soil in Antarctica and they can actually cryogenically freeze themselves to survive the harsh conditions and then unfreeze when conditions improve. Listen to you dropping scientific <laughs> knowledge. All right. Uh, what about your book? Tell me about being a first time author. Yeah, so um, my book is, is called Antarctica and um, it's part of a series called Choose Your Own Adventure, which is a, a series that started um, 40 years ago, more than that maybe, um, wherein you are the reader are an active participant in the story so every few pages there's a decision point and if you want to um, be interviewed on KTVU turn to page four if you want to go home turn to page 60 and then there are all these branching storylines so um, the the reader actually gets to participate in the story in this really creative wonderful way well Lily thank you for coming in these are uh, amazing painting one I actually have one last question yeah. So when you go down there and you look, you're not painting down there. So you have to come up and remember what you saw? Um, yes, I do try to work, make sketches in uh -huh. situ. So I have dove in submarines and my, I make drawings there. And then um, in Antarctica, I took, while I'm actually under the ice, it's so cold and you're wearing these giant gloves. So there's no, there's no painting under the ice. But yeah, I take a lot of video and I just take it all in and commit it to memory and then translate it. And um, yeah, it's been wonderful to be able to translate it through writing too, because it's such an incredible environment. Artist and now author, Lily Simonson, thank you for joining us. Thank you.